So I did a video about how to get hired as a nurse and what we look for in the hiring process. So this video is about what you should ask on your end, what you should be accountable for to get a job and a job you want because you also don't want to, I know it's a hard market to get into, but you also don't want a job with that you're going to dread going to every single day. So again, my name is Janine. I've been a nurse for six years and this is a video about what you should ask. So when you have your interview, so get a little pen and paper out so you can write this stuff down. What, what you want to ask is, what are the most common challenges for new nurses on your unit? This might be a very critical question when you um, are going because what are the new nurses challenged by? And you might not want to take the job if it's because of their hours, because of their sleep, because we don't, sometimes don't get out on time and whatnot. Um, ask what kind of shifts are available. It's not always night shift. Maybe there is an evening and maybe you're a parent who would rather work evening shift. That'd be very good. Uh, what's the workload patient to staff ratio? That's very important um, because you can always go back on this and say, in my interview you said that I want to get more than three patients. Why am I getting more than three patients at a time? Um, you never you never want to ask too much about your salary. Ask about it, but don't ask too much. Um, you can ask if it's hourly or salary. It's very important. You, as a nurse, there's a few hospitals around here that are salary. I would never work a salary job because a lot of times I'm there longer than I need to be. Um, so th those are some basic ones. You also want to ask for uh, a tour of the unit. Um, Find out how long your shift is and, and what hours it includes. Don't, don't expect that you're going to be on call. Ask. Sometimes there is an on call. And ask how many hours of on call and what, what period of time. Um, ask about vacation. Everybody deserves that. Um, ask why the facility is, is um, recommended to the community. Why, why is it unique? Why, why should you work there? Make it about you. Make it like you're the star and you want to work in a facility that's magnet or trying to be a magnet hospital. Um, so ask about the physicians that you work for. Um, ask if it's a teaching hospital. Some people don't want to be in a hospital that is a teaching hospital because there's a lot of new residents and a lot of the stuff the nurses do, the residents get to do. I worked at a hospital in the inner city and it was... a uh, um, teaching hospital. So I noticed at my local community hospital, I did a lot more with hands-on stuff than I did at this hospital. Yet that hospital was a very critical hospital. So, you know, you kind of get a little bit of good in both aspects. So make sure you ask those questions when you go to your interview um, and dress appropriately. You want to do business casual, um, but look 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 like you want the job. Don't look like you just got out of bed. Um, turn off your cell phone. Don't have any messages or phone calls coming through at the time of your interview. Bring a pen and a piece of paper so you can write things down too. And, um, you know, shake everybody's hand that's interviewing you. A lot of people now do a unit-based interview where you have the staff on the unit interview you as well, so be prepared for that. It might not just be with the manager. Um, and come with another, another copy of your resume. Don't, don't just send them one and then think that they have it. Bring an extra so that they have an extra copy of it. It's always good to have. So I hope those tips helped you to know that you are in charge of your job. Don't just fall for any job. Um, get, get the good on everything because you want to work for a place that you'll be there for a little while.